be as <laughs> sensitive as I can about this because uh, you know I, I there I mean friends of mine who actually believe this critical race theory stuff it's it's hard for me to even grasp but then again like <laughs> some of the people I went to seminary with I mean were getting mad at me for speaking out about this stuff and they were lumping me kind of believe in kind of the stereotypical you know the world all black experience is this one thing I mean it's super racist and stereotypical to believe all black people have the same experience and then as a white person usually it's white people why I don't I don't know what's up with that but we'll basically tell black people this is what you experience you have no freaking I mean not all black people have the same experience we don't all have the same background but to believe that you can listen to certain black voices and ignore or even negate or you know really I mean really in, in, in a really odd strange way just ignore black people like myself who have another story it's it's unfortunate and then people you know are my friends and stuff so it's actually really sad well anyway I want to be I want to be as sensitive to this as I possibly can because I understand people want to have a way of speaking into what supposedly is this major thing in, in culture right now. But you got to understand that some of this stuff, it actually isn't major. It's being broadcast as major by the mass media. Well, anyway, there's a, there's a better way of doing this. And critical race theory is not the way. Okay? Critical race theory lumps all these people, including white people, Asians, black people, gay people, whatever, into all these different categories and boats. And it, and it doesn't fit everyone. And the people that don't, that it doesn't fit with, it's like we get pushed to the side and then told that we're dumb <laughs> or we're just some Trump supporters or whatever. It's, it, I mean, it's, it's just some of the weirdest crap. So the way that you actually deal with this isn't by using this method, okay? I'm saying this to you because I want to help educate you on this. The way that you do this is by individually. If you have this stuff in your heart, if you, okay, first off, don't believe this implicit bias BS, okay? Implicit bias is a bunch of bull crap, okay? It's, it's just stupid. And the reason being is that it tells you that you are racist because of what you look like and your implicit bias as a colonizer or whatever, any other stupid language these people use, it, it's, it's ascribed to everybody, especially if you're a capitalist or if you are a person who's a Republican or conservative. It's, it's one of the, it's, it's just, it's, it's so sad. It's really sad. But you have to basically put yourself into this boat of, well, I'm white, so these things must be true about me. I'm black, so these things must be true about me. I'm Asian, so these things must be true about me. But somebody else is defining you. Other people don't define you. You define you. But if you're a Christian, the gospel defines you. That's why it's hard for me even to, to even accept that people who have real biblical training accept this stuff as gospel as truth while they're negating the actual gospel they're saying well this is just a tool to help jehovah's witnesses and mormons do that stuff they have just a tool to help okay and they align themselves with actual heresy so the reason why this like gets me burning and why it's so unfortunate is because people get fooled and this is just i mean in galatians chapter one it talks about another gospel this is another gospel that's not the true gospel and what's sad about it is people who are biblically trained are fooled about this and then are fooling their own congregations about it so the better way and this is why i want to just keep and this is this is the thing you don't need some big old you know go through your corporation and you know get rid of white implicit bias and all this other bs no if you have said something racist to somebody you find those people that you were racist toward you find the folks who you were mean toward or whatever, and you go individually to those people and just apologize. That's all you have to do. Like, and I'll give you just a case in point. If what's being told true, if what if this what's being told to us about this thing that happened in Coronado, okay? If you don't know the story about Coronado, it's this basketball game, this tournament. I think it was a basketball game. And uh, tortillas being thrown and all this stuff. And the coach and all that, they're, they're, they did something dumb, okay? Now... What you have to understand is this. These people, all they got to do, they, well, first of all, they got to repent. They got to apologize, okay? You got to apologize. If, if, if everything that's being told to us about the situation is real, they gotta, just got to go apologize. They do. They make amends. They ain't got to go through the, you know, some racial training and nothing like that. Just, just apologize. That's all you got to do. Sorry, I'm burping right now. And, and then, if you are thinking this stuff, go talk to some people 
individually and say, hey, you know, I got some questions. Like, and this is why, like, I want to make myself available to people. I'll be like the black brother that you never had, okay? To help you maybe kind of go through maybe the stuff that you might have been taught. Maybe some of the things that you might have heard. You know, black people like watermelon or chicken or whatever. I'm, I make fun of this stuff all the time. I think it's freaking hilarious. But it's like, like, how do you, where do you, where's the lines and where's stuff that you should and shouldn't say? Like, I want to be an individual that helps people through this stuff so that you don't get steered into going into all this other stuff that'll get you twisted about yourself. Because those things that try to tell you about yourself, if you're, especially if you're white, that stuff's not healthy, man. And if you're black and you're believing this stuff about victim mentality and all that stuff, it's not healthy. And, and maybe you like, maybe you have had bad instances with the police or, or, or with white people or whatever. There's areas of this where you actually got to work through this stuff individually. And I'm being real with you. It's, it's a lot better to go through this individually than to try to, you know, paint a broad swath of people that actually is bigoted against individuals that look different than you. So if I can ever be a resource for any amount, I may not even freaking know you, okay? And you might want to ask some questions or whatever, please do. And you can private message me. You can shoot me. You can even shoot me a comment. But if you come off hella racist, then I'm going to say you're a freaking racist, okay? But if you ask some questions, like legitimately ask some questions, I'll be there to assist because it's better to ask somebody that you can actually, like, that's not going to jump down your throat and, and assume the worst about you than someone that wants to guide you towards something to make you feel bad about what you look like. Just because you're born a certain way or look a certain way or come from a certain socioeconomic status or whatever doesn't make you a bad person. What makes you a bad person is when you find out that some of the things that you're thinking actually are bad and you stay with that stuff and you accentuate it or you use it and abuse it and then abuse people or whatever. That makes you a freaking, makes you a freaking turd, dude. So, and most people, they don't want to be turds. Most people in America, they, it's, you're talking about a small percentage of individuals that really are actual racists, that really are and do have issues with other ethnicities. And most people, they might say something dumb. You might be, you know, Mexicans say something dumb about black folks. Black folks say something dumb about Asians or whatever. And then you meet some people and they change, and, and these individuals become real individuals, p persons to you. And you learn to get past your own potential biases, your own potential issues. You don't need some critical race theory or some corporate sanctioned classes to get you through some training because it's all that's all indoctrination. Okay, that, that whole thing's indoctrination. The personal communication will get you through this stuff and I'm making myself available because it matters to me. It truly matters to me that individuals know that you don't have to, like, you don't have to ascribe yourself to some, I'm a racist and I need to, and like, like an AA meeting. Hi, my name is David and I'm a racist. Hi, David. You didn't got to do all that. Okay. You ain't got to do all that. Oh, you, like ask somebody that you trust. Ask somebody that can give you some real information. If you don't have that in your life, maybe like all the folks you grew up with, they're all Asian and you don't know no black people. Maybe you don't know any Mexicans. Maybe, you, maybe you're white. You don't know any black people. Well, you know me. Okay. You know me. I'll be your black brother that you never had. Seriously. I'm okay with that. And you can ask any question that you like, but I don't want you to be out there left on your own because folks out there are trying to take advantage of people right now. That it, it, You're talking about CRT is one of the biggest money-making things that are out there right now. Just like BLM was, you know, it's a farce, on, a farce on, on so many different levels. And these folks made millions of dollars, billions of dollars off of people who were unsuspecting. The heart of the American is to actually do well for one another. That is, that is a, in fact, you want to talk about implicit bias? That is implicit in the American spirit. Individuals want to take advantage of that though, because a good nature heart that we actually have for one another gets taken advantage of when it stuff gets skewed a little bit. And the skewing right now is believing that because you look like a certain way, that you're racist. You're probably not racist, dude. You're probably not bigoted. You might have some really weird ideas, but then just ask, just ask, okay? I'm making myself available. <laughs> maybe, maybe you want the, the assistance. Maybe you don't. But I'm making myself available. Take care.